Well, our coverage of the storm of 92 continues. We'll have a complete report on the damage and the cleanup in northern New Jersey. The people of Little Ferry heading back to their neighborhoods to see what's left of their homes. And you think you got hit hard? Well, we'll tell you about the blizzard pounding Connecticut and Massachusetts tonight. Elsewhere, U.S. troops come under attack for the first time since landing in Somalia and inflict heavy damage on local forces. We'll have the latest. Little Rock, Arkansas, hopping with activity today as President-elect Clinton announces some more big cabinet appointments. You tough it out. Have you been shopping? Yes. Has the weather bothered you? I mean, not at all. It's a great Christmas spirit out here. Even though we know the weather's been absolutely horrible, there are those who continue to shop till they drop. How's business? Oh, uh, it's great. Had an incredible day. The crowd today is uh, obviously a group of intrepid people. They're out here despite the weather. They were out here from the moment we opened, and they appear to be buying a lot. In addition to the weather, New York has its other dramas. A 72-year-old woman was hit by a taxi this morning as she tried to cross the street at 30th and 2nd. She was rushed to Bellevue and is in good condition. At 6.30 this morning, an explosion ripped through a supermarket at 101st Street and 2nd Avenue. In addition to battling the weather, firefighters worked several hours to bring the blaze under control. A security guard was injured in the blast. One thing that's important to note, a lot of people stayed home from Manhattan and from the five boroughs. That was a pretty good idea. Uh, they didn't come in town unless they were probably tourists or they lived in the city. So the traffic today wasn't bad at all. Good suggestion. Stay out of the weather. Stay home and enjoy the weekend and keep warm. I'm Penny Crone reporting live from Houston in the FDR Drive. Now back to you guys. Okay, thank you very much, Penny. Well, the storm showed no mercy on some parts of Long Island, pounding the coast and causing major damage. Fire Island was among the area's hardest hit, and some people's worst nightmares became reality. The storm, I guess, uh, has really devastated our entire area here. I understand many homes are about to go into the sea. Ours is not quite there yet, but it looks like it's pretty close. As the storm hit full force, some people lost everything. High tides reached the coast and people's homes toppled into the ocean. The Marine Bureau says about a dozen houses were damaged beyond repair. Despite the loss of property, there are no reports of injuries. In other coastal areas, more damage. The storm wreaked havoc at Point Lookout, overturning vans and ripping the sidewalk right out of the ground. The Marine Bureau says Fire Island is not out of the woods yet. The tide is still high and officials fear more homes could be destroyed. Throughout Long Island, more than 45,000 homes are still without power. Rosanna? Lynn, Connecticut officials now say three people have been killed during the storm. The northeast and northwest sections got the most snow, some places up to 16 inches. And thousands of people lost electric power. And it may be until tomorrow before they get service again. Well, the storm continues to affect travel in our area, but getting around is getting easier. Updating now in the city, as we heard from Penny Crone, the FDR and Harlem River Drive are closed and will likely stay that way through the night. But the Throsneck and Whitestone Bridges have been reopened with some restrictions. And the Belt Parkway is also open again. In New Jersey, Route 46 has been reopened in Little Ferry. On the New Jersey Turnpike, trailers and motorcycles are banned from 7A in Allentown to the northern terminus. In Connecticut, the Merritt Parkway, Connecticut Turnpike, and I-84 are open, but there is ice and snow on the roads, so if you must travel, please do be careful. When we come back, Governor Cuomo answers the city's calls for help after the storm. And Eric Sean reports from Somalia on relief efforts marred by violence. <laughs> 